What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we are now in the Akala region and ready to finish all of the shrines in this region. I'm going the complete wrong direction. You look at our map, we can see just per, as per usual, we have marked out all of the shrines either with actually accessing them or with a star marker. So we're going to go through all of them from the southernmost point to the northernmost point and complete them all. And then we'll have pretty much every corner of Hyrule complete for shrines apart from the main central area. Starting off, we're going to go way to the southeast section of Akala in the Ulria Grotto. So I will see you there in just a moment. Right, so here we are, and the actual shrine is hidden away. It is underneath the main blocky land over here. And you can see just over there, it's behind a bubble rock, which we need to explode with a bomb arrow. And then we can access the stuff. Well, that's probably good enough. Let's go. The Kenai Shaka Shrine. And it's a modest test of strength. Well, as per usual with these tests of strength, I'm going to speed it up because you've seen me fight these guys many times before. It's nothing new. Thank you very much. Only a sapphire, but oh well. Right, to the monk we go, and then let's get out of here. Right, now that that's done, the next one we're going to is very easily seen on the map. It is this orange one right here, overlooking Lake Akala, just south of it. And Tarrytown. It's the main one you want to use to get to Tarrytown, usually, but because I never wanted to go to this area until last, I just had to fly from the shrine from this uh, shrine all the time. Not tower. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. We're going here next, anyway. Dan Hesho, apparently. Da Hesho. Here we are. Show. I found it accidentally while just walking through here to get to Tarrytown. And it just sort of acted, automatically picked it up when I didn't when I was just going past it, but oh well. A minor test of strength. You might see the theme of this shrine test. Apparently all the test ones are being put in here. I mean there are like 20 in the whole game, so I guess they needed to put them all somewhere. But this would be nice and easy. I'll speed things up again. Giant Ancient Core, really good, nice. And to the monk we go. Nice and quick, nice and easy, nice and simple. Right, now that that one is done, we're gonna go up and over to the South Akala Stable, because there's another shrine overlooking it. It's pretty standard, let's go. The Zekasho Shrine. And hey look, it's not a test of strength. It's Zekasho Apparatus, everyone's favorite. So the first things first we need to do, we need to make a path for ourselves. Oh, well there you go. <laughs> that works. Pretty simple, nice and easy. Now this is gonna be, oh actually, can I get through that? I hope so. Maybe not. Well, let's see if I can, no, no I can't. All right, well then, so much for that, oops. Let me talk about the next rooms in a moment. Oh, that one's not gonna move. Okay. Right, you go over there. You're not going to go over there? Go over there. Please go over there. 
top right. You need to go that way. I swear that's what your path allows. No? Okay, well, that works. I'm sure the angle will be fine. There we go. Thank you. There's going to be a series of rooms all surrounding the apparatus fun thing. Except this one. This one automatically turns blocks, and you need to use that as your way through. Seems pretty fun. So, uh, give it a swing and do a run. And try not to get zapped on the way, like I'm just about to. If you get stuck, you can use either a arrow or a bomb. Hit it again, your problem solved. Now what we really want to do is we want to stay here, because here is our final treasure chest that we want to be dealing with. For this, what we need to do is get on top of it. So I'm going to hit it again, wait for it to come around here, and then I'll hopefully stand on it, and then mosey on around till it keeps me up. Oh, no, I have to hit it twice. Excuse me. I thought I did a full loop. I was wrong. There we go, and then just keep on top of it. And now, we can very easily just sort of glide on over to it. Nice! Silver scale, silver scale spear. Fitting, considering I'm in all Zora armor. I did a little bit of waterfall climbing. You probably saw it, because I feel like I'm going to speed it up. Oh well. Anyway, in final room. It's another apparatus fun. And it's a proper little puzzle. You need to get all three balls in their slots. This might take a while. Like, it... The concept seems easy enough, but we'll see if it actually is practically easy. The answer is yes. <laughs> Apparently yes. Look at that. That's amazing. That's probably a record time somewhere. Probably in all of Let's Plays. I may not be record time on completing the game, or fishing it even, but I got a record time on that, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, next up we're going to a very landmarky area. We're going to the big ol' spiral, the Wrist Peninsula, because the shrine is right in the center. Let's go. Right, here we are at our destination. You may be thinking, this is not the spiral. You'd be right. Towards the southern part of the spiral, there is this little ruins, and in it is a ball. We need to get the ball all the way into the center, because that is all you have to do for this shrine. There are multiple ways you could do this. Let's read the thing first. Only a hero bearing this ancient orb shall be granted the right of passage on the Wrist Peninsula. So yes, what we need to do is into the vortex, apparently. Well, yeah, no, I guess that is a vortex. There are multiple ways you can do this. You could use Cryonis and just run your way across the water. That's probably one of the fastest. You can... Uh, shoot, I forgot what another big myth... Oh, there's a raft nearby that you can use to just glide your way there. Or you could just walk it. I'm going to do the walking one because it seems the most fun to me. So uh, I'm going to go speed things up and uh, hopefully we'll get to the center. We might have a few enemies in the way, but we'll see how I deal with them. And here we are. There wasn't too many troubles. Lost two and a quarter hearts. That was actually quite fun, especially because I had 8-bit music playing in my head, so it was like a nice little retro mini-game. Anyway, this is the Ritarg Zumo Shrine.
And this is just Retarg Zumo's blessing. Very nice and easy for us. A giant agent core again. Very lovely. Okay, let's get through out of this. Let's get through out of this? Yeah, okay. All right, next up we're going just west of the e, uh, East Takala Stable. We're going way down to this body of water here. <laughs> Okay, and here we are, into this nice little encapsulating body of water. This is the Spring of Power. We've seen the Spring of Wisdom and the Spring of Courage. All that's left is the Spring of Power, found in the Akala region. You, you have, have done, done well, well to, to find, find this spring. spring. Offer Dinral scale received from a red spirit to the spring of power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Alright, so that unlocks a shrine quest. It didn't actually give us a it didn't actually give us a shrine quest. Well, that's fine. Either way, we do need to get Din Ral's scale. This is the fire dragon, who can be found? up and over in the Elden Mountains. Also, we have a memory here, but we'll get back to that in another video. Now, to see da um, Dinral, there's a few places you can go, but I personally like going to the Elden Great Skeleton. After all, we, last time we were, well, the first time we were there, we actually saw him fly right over us, so I'm going to go straight to him from this shrine. I will do a little bit of waiting, and otherwise, I will see you there in a bit. Right, so the best place to be is the Elden Great Skeleton, as I said before, and exactly 9 o'clock in the morning, as it is now, because Di uh, Din Rao appears northeast of the skeleton and will fly right over soon enough. We saw him earlier in the series at this exact location, so it's just a matter of waiting a couple more moments, and he should show up real soon. Oh, I just discovered it doesn't spawn if you're right in its flight path, as in on top of the skeleton. So we're gonna have to go a little bit out of our way if we want to actually have it appear. That's a, that's a bit annoying. Damn, okay. Well, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I was told nine o'clock in the morning, it's actually six o'clock and it just sort of flew in and I didn't even realize. So yes, this is Din Rao. It flies over the great Elden skeleton. Doesn't appear when you're in its flight path because it likes being annoying. And if you want it scaled, just like we did with Farosh over in the Lake Tower region, you just need to hit it with an arrow, if you have any su kind of accuracy, which I apparently do not. I also don't have an infinite amount of arrows, so can I, like, do this a bit better, please? And also, don't run away, if you can. There we go, thank goodness. Okay, so with that, it's going to give us a scale. I might just hit this a few more times so I can farm them and get more money. Oh, actually, it's not going to let me now, is it? Did not. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, would you look at that? Well, anyway, let's go get that scale, and then we can now complete the spring of power. Speaking of power, lovely. Dinral scale, lovely. Right to the spring of courage we go. No nope, power even. Your path, Your path has shown, shown itself. itself. Now, now go, go forth. Shall do, Missy. And that is the power of the Spring of Power all completed. No shrine quest to show up, apparently. But this is the Tutsuwa Nima Shrine. And that was not enough. They had to give us a major test of strength on top of that. Someone was being really, really greedy. So Farosh didn't give us this, but maybe I'm wrong. Either way though, let's take this guy out. Yeah. 
And a flame spear is our prize. It's a shame it's not a frost spear. We could have used that for a side quest, but oh well. Nice and easy, for the most part. Alrighty, and now that that is done, we're going to go to one of the final shrines ever, because we've already done the uh, Easter Kala Shrine one, so or stable one. So now we're going to go up into Deeper Kala. We're going to the left eye, I guess, technically. The skull's left eye of Skull Lake. Really, I guess I should call it the right eye. Either way, we're going way up there. Right, I decided to fly in from the Elden region, but we are now right above Skull Lake, going on to his slightly protruding other eye. Now, oh, actually, we might not be able to do this with leaps this time. That's fine. I can do it anyway. I've got an extra bit of stamina. Thankfully, that's kind of lucky that I have it at all. I just did it from a random sleep. Anyway, this is Zuna Kai Shrine. Nice. Let us in, please. And this is just a blessing to get there. Apparently, this is so high up, it was supposed to be really impossible, but doing it... I literally did it, I think, from... Yeah, I literally just did it from the, um... Elden Shrine, like that hill, the gut rock challenge, gut check challenge, gut rock, whatever. Uh, that was super easy, because I had way too much stamina. Four bars, literally. Oh well. Let's get out of here. I was supposed to, I was expecting real difficulty. I thought the Northern Moor Shrines were going to be all the hard ones, because it seemed to be the case so far. Oh well, I'll accept it. Okay, and now we have one final shrine to take on, and it won't hopefully take us too long either. We're going way off to the very top right-hand corner of everything, and we're going to this lovely little maze. See you there in a moment. Right, instead of actually speeding up how I got here, I decided I'll just warp straight to the ancient tech lab, since it just makes sense. And now let's go and fly right into our last ever maze shrine. You can probably guess what the reward is, if you remember what the last two were. It's all going to be part of the same theme. And as well as actually having to deal with this maze, you also have to deal with some type of guardians. Mainly flying ones, as you can see there. There's three roaming around. They shouldn't be too much of a problem. Besides, you're in a... Well, oh, there's four. I didn't know that. Um, their guardian beams are probably going to struggle to hit you a little bit, since, you know, you're in a maze. Anyway, you can see very clearly the shrine is right up ahead, and I know the exact path we need to take, so this hopefully won't take us too long. Don't worry, I'll explain it to you. This is the Lomai Labyrinth Island. Very Donkey Kong-esque, actually. Well, not at all, but it, it reminds me of Donkey Kong. You know what I mean? You have reached this point. Proceed onwards through the maze, and you will receive a reward. Okay, Trial of the Labyrinth. Now, this, most of this maze is unusable. It's all unneeded. Like, you can see this path here, it's all dead ends. So is all of this one. It's just a slightly longer one. All of this part here, you don't need to use. You only need to go right in here and make your way through. Even though it doesn't show it like that on the map. But I swear, you go in there, and then you can do a whole loop around there, and you go in through there. This is where you want to be. Top left hand corner. Also, hello, Guardian. Give me a moment, I will deal with you too. Well, I can just speed this up, actually. Just like I did with all the uh, major tests of strength, basically. Oops. Alright, if, if you hide away, then maybe I'll have a bit of trouble. But here we go. Right, you can lose that limb. You can lose that limb. You can use that limb. And I will put on something else that's double handed. They do the best. Lose that limb, thank you. And this limb. Thank you. That should be mostly done. Your health better be down now. There you go. Flipped right over and destroyed. Easy. And I will take all this extra ancient stuff. I know uh, Robbie will be needing it real soon, so good to have. Right, where am I? That way is top left. Give me these, thank you. Let's make our way through. Now then, other than that, there's really not too much of a trial to this maze now that you know that the top left corner is where to go, and you just follow the path, taking the rights to hopefully make your way to where you want to go. Although, I don't know if you need that crate or not. Can I just go around it? No, I can't, so that makes me think... Yeah, wait, is, is, is that the same crate? I feel like it might not be. No, it's not. 
Well, let me test if there's something on the other side, because I wasn't aware that there was. Oh, there is treasure here. Well, whoops. I'm probably not going to get all the treasure in here, simply because I haven't marked it, and I'm not going for all the treasure everywhere, and we probably have plenty of treasure ourselves anyway, just because of the nature of how we used to collect all the treasure chests, so I think I've got enough of everything. If you really want to see the treasure chests, I'm afraid you're going to have to look somewhere else, but I have gotten all the treasure all the other labyrinths, but the current guide I was looking through did not have it marked. Oh well. Anyway, here we are, pretty much right by the shrine. Take this right here, and you'll see there's a bunch of vines to burn. We have a fire arrow to nicely deal with that, and... takes a while for it to actually burn. Come on. There you go. And... There we go. Come on up here. And now you've made the secret extra path on the side. Follow it a little bit more for a nice little spiral and here's a extra little flame blade for you. Right, that was just a slightly side secret thing that I did actually know about. Right, now then otherwise let's go back down, follow the path and we should reach our shrine. But I won't speed things up in case I'm wrong, and I rather won't disorientate you. So, we'll see how this goes. Hello, bat! Well, that lasted quick. Give me your pieces. I need that for Kilton soon. Aim for you, buddy. Bye-bye. Right. And... With even more spiralling staircases, here we are at the Two Kolo Shrine. Overlooking everything. Quite nice. That's Trial of the Labyrinth completed. And of course, it is to Kolo's blessing. Give me this, and then we'll be done. Barbarian Helm. Probably the best looking of the Barbarian armor set, but yes, now we get to look real spooky. And of course, it upgrades our uh, attack. In fact, if I put all three on now that we went to all of the Labyrinths, oh, we don't get any bonus? That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. Alright, now the gate's open, we can get out of here. Now, before we actually end the video off, unlike last time, we still actually have a little bit of stuff to do because we need to cash in these extra spirit oils we got. Now, last time we were in the Faron region and I completely forgot to actually cash in the one extra heart container we could have gotten. So I'm going to do that now. So I will show you the goddess statue in Lulin Village and then we'll go and get the ones for the rest of the heart containers up in Akala. See you in a mo. So here we are, and that is the inn over there. It is just to the right of them, right by this little shore bank here. Right at the end of the path. You who have conquered the spirit orbs, or the shrines even, and claimed their spirit orbs, in exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. We will have one heart container, because we originally had seven from this region, so we only would have gotten one anyway. Lovely. Okay. And now, let's head over to the Akala region for more goddess statue goodness. See you in a moment. Now, Akala actually has two goddess statues, and we just so happen to have two more heart containers to get, so we're going to go for each of the goddess statues in Akala. First things first, Tarry Town right in the center. No matter how constructed this place is, I think there's always the one here, even if there's just rock here, seriously. Could be wrong on that. Maybe it's one, one upgrades here, but either way, Let's get another heart container from them. Thank you very much, goddess. Beautiful. And now, we're gonna leave off here, and we're gonna go off to the Spring of Power. Here we are, and fun fact, there is actually another way to the Spring of Power. You can... Oh! You don't even have to burn it, it's just a secret vine. That's kind of cool. But yes, you can see there are guardians around here protecting the place, because through this vine that you can apparently just walk right through, I didn't know about that, is the official entrance to the Spring of Power. With ruins and everything. Very lovely. Anyway, we're now going to go get our final heart container from this final goddess statue. It's not quite our final heart container, but you know what I mean. 
for this region. Hot container, please. I shall grant the power you seek. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Alright, and so we shall. Next time, we're going to take on all of the Akala region for all of the Koroks in the region, which probably won't take too long. And then, it is time for the big bad hole in the center. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.